Two developing story, a massive fire that began yesterday at the NYPD evidence storage facility in Brooklyn is still burning this morning. The fire broke out in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn. Crews have used everything from boats to drones to try and put out the flames. CBS 2's Christy Collegian is live in Red Hook. And Christy, that facility was used to store DNA evidence in vehicles tied to major court cases. What happens now? That's what we're trying to find out today, Cindy and Chris. Hopefully we get an update from the fire department, the NYPD today on that. It's still a very active scene, almost exactly a day later. Just take a look. We have the firefighters still out here putting out uh, whatever residual smoke or anything that's left over. We could still smell that out here, and that's what residents are concerned about, that smoke inhalation. Hi, Janet. We won't really know the magnitude of what was destroyed in there until we have an opportunity to look at the envoys and see what was in there and then see what we can salvage and then we'll go from there. It'll be some time before officials can really get at what was lost in the flames here at the NYPD impound and evidence warehouse. A slew of vehicles, including e-bikes, holding crucial evidence from past cases, some that even went cold, were housed here. There's not a lot of openings in this building. It's a sealed off building. So as we're able to get holes in the building from the pressure of the water stream, we get water onto the fire. But it's, uh, it's a difficult operation that, that takes time. Contractors that were in the building discovered the fire that started on Tuesday. The remaining smoke worries Rosa Martinez, who lives nearby. I have to be concerned and more careful because, you know, I got elderly parents and that smoke is going to be lingering. Even though right now we don't smell it, but when you get a whiff of the wind comes towards this way, you could smell that something was burning. This is one of several places where the NYPD keeps evidence, which does not include rape kits. The evidence goes back a long time, 20, 30 years. A lot, some of the evidence was also from uh, Sandy, property from Sandy as well. We could still see what that building looks like now. We could see those, um, I guess, openings. We could see right through it. It's really just a shell right now as they're still um, watering down uh, the smoke here. And in terms of injuries, we're hearing, um, the latest that we're hearing is that at least eight have been injured, including six EMS members from the fire department and two civilians. And again, hopefully we get to hear more updates from the fire department and the NYPD today. Keep it locked on CBS2 for those. And that's the latest that we have here in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Christy Kalishian, CBS2 News. Christy, thank you.